Percentages are frequently used in many different areas of financial mathematics. In this video, we're going to review some strategies that can be used to calculate new sale prices when markups and discounts are applied. So, let's begin. Shopkeepers often increase or decrease the price of an item by a percentage. This can be done by using a multiplier. For example, a shopkeeper may wish to apply a markup of 8% to a product that had a cost price of $550 in order to make a profit. Our task here is to find the sale price of this item. When we are applying a markup, essentially we're increasing the price of the product by that markup percentage. In this case, the markup percentage is 8%. To find the new sale price of the item, we could first work out what 8% of $550 is, and then add it on. However, there is a quicker method. If we consider the cost price of this item of $550 to be our 100% amount, our sale price is that 100% plus an extra 8% for the markup. Therefore, our sale price will be 100% plus 8%, which will equal 108% of the cost price. So therefore, our sale price will be 108% of the cost price. Now we know how much to increase the cost price by, we now need to find the multiplier of 108%, which is actually the decimal of 108%. The multiplier can be found by using the definition of percent, which means out of 100, or for every 100. To find the multiplier, we simply need to take this 108 and divide it by 100. We can also just move the decimal place which would be located here two spots to the left which would essentially be dividing by 100. In this case, our multiplier is equal to 1.08. Now that we have the multiplier, to find the sale price, we simply need to take this multiplier and multiply it by the cost price of $550. To do this with my calculator, I put the multiplier in and I times it with my $550 and I find that the new sale price will be $594. Do make sure that you put the therefore symbol to indicate that that is your final solution. Next, let's look at a problem where a shopkeeper has decided to discount the price by a percentage. In this case, they've decided to discount it in order to clear out the old stock. In this example, a shopkeeper is choosing to discount their selling price of $240 by 6%. We are tasked with finding the discounted sale price of this item. When we're applying a discount, essentially we're decreasing the price by the percentage of the discount. In this case, it's 6%. To find the discounted price of an item, we could first work out what 6% of $240 is. Then we take that amount and subtract it from the $240. However, like markups, there is a quicker method. If we consider this $240 to be our 100% value, we're essentially looking for 6% less of that value. So we're subtracting 6% from that $240. This means that we're looking for 94% of $240. And that will find our discounted sale price. Next, we need to find the multiplier or the decimal value of 94%. We do this by moving the decimal place that's located here two spots to the left. So our multiplier will be equal to 0.94. We're then multiplying this value with our $240. To find this, I'm going to use the calculator. I enter the multiplier of 0.94 
and I multiply that with $240. I will find that the answer to this is 225.6. Now, we've got to remember that we're dealing in currency. In Australian dollars, we put things to two decimal places. So make sure that you include the zero after the six and include the dollar symbol at the front. So therefore, our discounted selling price is equal to $225.60. Now, it's your turn. The best way to improve your understanding is through practice. So I've come up with a few problems for you to try out yourself. 